Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohamed. Uh, we continue we are with our training and preparation for Elastic Certified Analyst exam. And <coughs> we have this, uh, discovered together in the past videos uh, all the topics so far. And today we will um, discuss or see how we can uh, create uh, interactive dashboards with input control, text and uh, drill down. Um, this is my YouTube channel, so you can uh, refer to it to see all the previous videos. All right. Um, all right, so let's go to uh, dashboard. So I will go to dashboard first and um, I will l l l let's take the e-course, right? So now, or let's go to our, our dashboard that we create uh, in the previous topics, right? And here... Um, so, you know, guys, if you want to uh, control or if you if you want to filter uh, your dashboard, we can use KQL and we can create a filter for sure, as we saw previously. And also, there is another way to uh, create a control or a filter for our data. So um, to create a control, so you have to uh, uh, to edit your um, dashboard first. And after that, here you have you have uh, the place where to where you can add the control so the first thing is adding a control so in the control we have two types and uh, the two types is based on the type of your fit so if it is text for example i will go not with one second let's go to under control i will go with e-commerce and here type if it is string or number if it is text, for example, here, customer, let's say, customer gender, this one. So if, if it is a customer gender, if it is text, it will be a list. If it is number, let's choose anyone from number. So it will be range. And we will create both. We will start with, uh, we will start with a list and we will go back to, um, to slide or slider. So here, customer gender, you have just select the uh, the field. It's selected here. So this is the option. Uh, this is um, how you want to show. So if it is uh, like this is the width of uh, of 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 your uh, uh, of your filter or of of your uh, control that you are going to create. Um, all right. So here to fit okay so here is this is good like to have good visualization it will automatically create the size of your uh, control based on the space that we have so here if, if if you have one it will be all the way or take all the all all the page uh if if we have two they will split it so we, we can see it uh all right so here uh, allow uh, multiple selections so uh, when you have a list, you can choose one or multiple if you enable it. If you disable it, it will be able just to show to show uh, uh, one. And this this one um, uh, it's to ignore uh, timeout uh, for the results. So with that being said, let's save our uh, uh, modification or our control here, and we will be able to see. So this is the field as customer gender. So again, we can create a filter, but for your customers or for the people who doesn't know how to use elastic um this is drill down or this is the easy way to create a filter so here they will just click here and you, and you will be able or they will be able to uh, choose so we have two types male or female and we have another option which is exist right mean whatever the whether whatever the value of 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 this field give me the result so let's choose male and and as you can see the uh, result is automatically applied on our visualization right and here we have the result and there is another option if you want to filter in or filter out automatically it's filtered in but if you want to do the reverse if you want to exclude it there is another option where you just here um, exclude the mail from customer gender and it will return back all the uh, results uh, as you can see here exist is the same uh, include exist so here uh, whatever the gender it will it will return back to uh, the result so uh, we said previously it supports multiple uh, it's it supports multiple 
uh, choices so I can go with male and female as you can see here male and female I want to include exclude both of them so uh, it's up to us so we can choose whatever we want so this is uh, our um, uh, filter or uh, a control if you want to modify easy you just click and do uh, the modification so now you save your dashboard right and now if you go back let's say refresh and you go back here to your dashboard you will <coughs> you will find uh, your filter here if you want to modify boom boom you will uh, refresh automatically if you want to remove it directly or remove this control you can remove it from here and you save uh, now and now let's let's add a slider add the control uh, we choose our e-commerce data view and here to be or to choose the slider uh, it should be a number or uh, something that we can use for uh, yeah here for example it will be a number so it's depend on the scenario it's depend on the question they are saying uh, create a list or slider if it's list it should be text if it is slider it should it should be uh, it should be a number and the number as we discuss uh, many many times like you, you can see hash here and if it is uh, a text you see you see t here or a keyword or like if it is text or keyword you will be able or text you'll be to to see this t or small t here i will i will go with the a product price and it's automatically choose the uh, slider which is here uh, range so this is um this is the label so if we if we if you don't like it you can just do price for example and here we go this is the same this is just the size and this is um uh, it's like for the visualization since now we have one they will split between the, they will split the uh, the space between this one and the other one or the new one so here we go so here the uh, previous one on just to modify the label gender like this it's more clean so now um for the slide or for the for uh, the uh, this uh, slider so we we have multiple ways to do so if you click if you just click on the uh, on the slider itself you, you will be able to control it in this way like this right? you just dr drag and drop or you <laughs> You take the slider to whatever the place you want and it will automatically apply on the on the result otherwise if you have a number that you can for example 50 here to uh, 100 you can do it in this way or if you just go like this increase and here decrease it works both make sense uh, there is another control um, which is a uh, time so for the time range you know we have or we can use we can use it from here define uh, from where to where or we can use the uh, quick select and we choose whatever we want from here otherwise there is another control we can add here uh, it is it's time slider so as you can see here you can just uh, play with it and see how it works so here you can uh, modify the uh, uh, the the time based or you you will use this slider directly right so keep in mind and uh, try to uh, apply this too and because this uh, you will you will uh, you will use them a lot um uh, there is another way which is uh, uh, here for example you can add a text um let's say you have multiple uh, a multiple visualization and uh, you want to add a link from your main uh, dashboard to uh, access to the other dashboards right so um I don't know I will uh, I will duplicate one give me one second I will just take the uh, the name of the other dashboards from here I will go to dashboard for example so here we come to my dash dashboard so oh sorry Mm -hmm. yeah. so this one for example uh, and here we will add uh, we will add a link to the other dashboard right so and and, and here I will I will put the link of this dashboard uh, we saw previously how we get 
uh, we get a link of the dashboard. So I will just copy the link of the dashboard and put it here. And here we go. I'll just make sure, yeah, it works. So I will save and return. So I will take this one. Sorry, I will change. Yep, and I will take it here. I will put it somewhere as just. All right, so I save. So this is uh, what they're asking us to do. So uh, like to use the text, this is how I can use text. Text, it's a normal um, markdown. So here you can uh, use a link or description or your dashboard or whatever. So if you click here, it will redirect you to the other to the other dashboard. And if I click here and come back, so this is my my dashboard you save the modification and like this we will or we covered all the three uh, points that they want you to do in this uh, in this uh, topic uh, with that being said uh, please do let me know if you have any question or uh, any feedback and we'll see you in the next video